Is there a strategy to bonesing a meal? Back in a minute. Hi, this is Jan from New York City. My channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. How's everybody doing today? Recently, uh, someone asked me to do more bare bones recipes. I'm not going to focus on a recipe per se, but I'm going to focus today on a method that is, in my honest opinion, a guaranteed way to get through those couple of nights out of the month where you may need to bare bones it for whatever the reason. But this is why I believe in stockpile, stockpile, stockpile. Here's an example. Going to get it? Buy a can of something like this. Okay? Doesn't have to be this specific brand. Okay? However, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. I hope it is. Okay. This is beef stew in a can. Now, why do I say beef stew in a can? Beef stew in a can has everything in it. You have your vegetables, you have your potatoes, you have your protein, you have your beef, you have a good flavor, you have, um, let me see how many servings to be precise, I have to get my trusty reading glasses for this one, so hang on a minute, get my trustees, <laughs> all right, here we go, so this particular stew has, ta-da, serving size, one cup. Servings per container, 2.5. Okay. If you are like tap city broke until payday, you get two and a half people meals out of one can of this stew. Okay. Not a bad deal. You could have it just like that. But what I would do, this is the method part. Get something else like a staple, like for example, egg noodles. Egg noodles go very, very well with that. I've done it myself, not because of bare bones, but because I felt like it. <laughs> it just tastes really good. You don't feel like you're eating bare bones. You feel like you're eating a meal. So if you can catch something like this, things with things in it, <laughs> type foods, that is really a good secret weapon. Let's go on to another item, okay? This. This is chili, chili in a can. And I have to tell you a story. When I first tried chili many years back in the, you know, dinosaur days. <laughs> well, no, this was about 25, 30 years ago. I was curious to try it. And to be honest with you, I was like, blah. For me, it was an acquired taste at that time. Maybe I had a bad can. Maybe I didn't like the way that company did it. But once I tried a different company, I really, really, really loved it. And this is not a sponsored ad for any company. This is about method. <clears throat> Excuse me, please. So this, this chili is the mild one. The other one that I, I had the first time was very, very spicy. And to be honest, I think that's the reason why I said black, because I'm you know not used to spicy food. But the mild one is fine with me. A person, by the way, a person can have this chili, for example, and team it up. This is really, really good over rice. What's in this chili as far as serving size and all that? Trusty glasses, I know. Okay, serving size, one can. Um, listen, I'm sorry. You could get two servings out of this. Sorry. You could team this up with some toast, regular toast. You could cut up some, you know, little, you know, Italian type bread, put that on the side. You could have it on crackers. You could put it on however way you normally serve your chili. And definitely over a bed of rice. This is an example. Food with food in it. Other things. That's why it's important when you do your stockpile. Yeah, a can of corn is nice, but it's just a can of corn. Okay? Get something like this. It has more things in it than anything else. Let's get another one. Okay. Another thing. Uh, well, this is company Chef Boyardee overstuffed ravioli, beef ravioli. Can you camera pick that up? Okay. All right. Okay. Overstuffed beef ravioli. Serving size, one can. I'm sorry. I, I really believe that two people can get out of this 
in my opinion, two people can, two servings can come out of this can. This is my opinion, but let me know how you feel about that. What can you serve or what have you ever served with something like that? Okay. You could put some, if you have some leftover, you want to fortify it a little more. This is bare bones. So you're opening up that can. Maybe you have some leftover shredded mozzarella cheese. You could fortify your meal that way, right? Maybe you have a quarter of a head of lettuce and a little bit leftover tomato. You can make a garden salad to go on the side with this. There are re really uh, quite many methods. So other items to consider for your pantry that I think would really work. For example, perfect for bare bones time, boxed macaroni and cheese. Always a winner, winner, chicken dinner with the kids. And speaking of, let's say you have some ground beef left over. This is why I, I really believe that, like, if you have leftovers, like a little bit of ground beef here, a little bit of ground turkey there, or ground chicken, or little pieces, don't say, oh, it's not enough to make anything else out of it. That is not true. Because you could take those items, you could use them as add-ins, as throw-ins. For example, if you have, like, ground beef, and add it to that beef ravioli, that works. No problem there. You want to just throw that in extra or chicken. You want to throw that in extra. This will fortify your meal. Anything that fills up your kids' bellies, your belly that's you know decent and nutritious. And the trick is to get it on sale. So if you find any sort of sales, and I don't buy this nonsense that when it says here, it says on the can, serving size, one can. No way. By the way, there are beans in this one. Just for the record, it's not just, you know, no beans. There's beans in this. I mean, how filling are beans? Seriously? Could one person, I'm sorry, could, <laughs> I can't get over it. Could one person actually, wouldn't be me, could one person actually sit down at one serving eating this entire can? No. Oh, by the way, this, this is heavenly with some uh, shredded cheddar cheese. And that's another thing to keep in your refrigerator. You know, anybody that's like trying to stretch a buck, if you find things like like good proteins, like like cheddar cheeses or anything to that effect, you could always grate it, put it on. But get the idea of this method. Yes, of course, you need ingredients to produce other meals. I get that. But when it's bare, bare, bare bones time, maybe those other ingredients aren't available. But these things pre-made, for example, like that beef stew. The beef stew is a go-to, okay? Just as is. But I highly recommend that you definitely consider uh, buying a bag of egg noodles when when you have the money. When you have the money and it stretches out. So you get the main can with a lot of things in it. And on the side, you get the, you know, keep a rice and keep some noodles. And you could fortify these meals. And don't just ignore it when it says one serving a can of the chili, chili. I am very sorry. This is huge. It is too filling for me. I am a grown woman, and I'm saying that this is too much for one person. Definitely, you could get at least two hearty servings. There you go. Hope this video helps someone. Please let me know if you think this type of video does in the comment section below. In the meantime, this has been Jan from New York City. Don't forget to pick up those items. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. I really do appreciate who you don't forget to come back in the future for some more savings, tips and tricks. Go to look for my outro outro. Where are you? Here we go. Have an amazing, fantastic day. Bye bye.